All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the main interview room. We'll be joined in just a moment by Eric Paschal, Phil Booth, and head coach Jay Wright of Villanova. The Villanova locker room is open at this time with all the other Villanova student athletes. They'll be open for a period of about 30 minutes starting now. We'll try to let you know when St. Mary's open locker room availability is, but they'll be joining us after that. It'll be head coach Randy Bennett, Jordan Ford, and Jordan Hunter, the two Jordans. And Coach Bennett will join us here in the main interview room. Again, once we know that the St. Mary's locker room is open, it'll be open for 30 minutes. We'll try to let you know if, uh, if we're able to find out ahead of time. Eric Pascal, Phil Booth, and the head coach, Jay Wright. Will join us in here. Just a reminder, when in the main interview room, please silence your cell phone. Please refrain from any flash photography. Please refrain from any video recording, including professional ENG cameras, handhelds, mini cameras, and cell phones, including cell phone video or social media video. Not permitted in this room. Coach? Congrats, yeah. The Villanova locker room is now open for availability, and we're joined here in the main interview room by head coach Jay Wright. Student athletes Eric Pascal and Phil Booth will ask coach to open things up. Then we'll take questions first for the student athletes. Coach. First, we want to we want to just congratulate St. Mary's on a great season and a great game. Man, are they good. It is, um, it is just so impressive to play against them, how disciplined, how well coached, um, how they execute everything we try to do defensively they got an answer for. Um, they're really good. That, that, that team just beat the number one team in the country and pretty handily. And uh, it was no surprise to us that it was that difficult of a game. So we give them a lot of credit. And as far as our team, hey, we're, we're, we're growing. Our young guys are growing. But we have two seniors that just do everything for us on and off the court. And we're just we're, we're so lucky to have them. Questions first for the Villanova student athletes. If you have a question, please raise your hand. Let's go all the way up front. Just to the right of the aisle, we'll use the left-hand microphone. Uh, Mike Petralia, CLNS Media in Boston. Uh, Phil, I wanted to ask you about the Big East Tournament um, and how the games that you won against Xavier, and obviously Seton Hall grinding out those games can be a benefit in a game like tonight where you had to grind it out again. Uh, that's a, a major benefit. Um, this team, uh, St. Mary's, is one of the best at grinding out like that in close games. Uh, you saw what they did against Gonzaga um, in their conference tournament. So. The Big East really helped us for that. We learned how to ground down games. You know, we had games like that where we lost in the early in the season. So it was good for us to get that experience in the Big East tournament. Continuing with questions for the Villanova student athletes, let's go to the left side. Mike. Mike Abelson, New Hampshire Union leader, Phil and Eric. Um, I happened to be walking back to the floor when you guys were doing your huddle before the second half. And I'm hearing words like urgency. Um, what do you guys think was missing in that first half? And then um, kind of how frustrated were you guys as veterans? Like, come on, we can play better than this. Phil first, please, then Eric. We, we weren't doing that bad, actually. It was more uh, they were they were playing very well, and we were trying to match uh, how they were bringing it. But um, I think we decided to take it to another level because they were playing at a high level. I think we weren't doing that much that much wrong. It was more credit how good St. Mary's was playing, and we had to kind of match their level. Eric. Yeah, I, um, I totally agree with Phil. I mean, uh, I felt like we just had to bring it to another level. I mean, they, they're very good. They're very disciplined, well coached. They know what they're doing, very veteran team. So, uh we just knew that we had to bring it to another leather, level and uh, play Villanova basketball. Back in the room in the center, Nabate. Nabate, I was Bill Roden on sports. Uh, for Eric or Phil, um, what perspective are you um, giving the younger players, uh, you know, with all the experience you've had going far in the tournament, obviously, like what's the perspective and the advice you're giving them so they can be able to, um, to, to be more focused and, and be in that championship mentality? Phil first, please. Um, just trying to tell them to stay. Um, where, where are you at? I can't see. Oh, okay. There you go. Sorry, in the back. But um, uh, just tell them to stay focused on the game. Uh, there's a lot of distractions that come in this state tournament. So the best thing you can do is, is focus on your opponent, uh, take care of your body, and focus in on what, what we have to do as a team. Eric, same question. Um, I'll just definitely say just take it day by day. I mean, uh, focus on your next task. If it's practice, focus on that. Focus on hydrating the right way taking care of your body, cold tubs, however way we can uh, prepare ourselves to uh, keep getting better. And uh, definitely nutrition as well. Just doing all those little things to stay prepared and not look too far ahead. We have a few more minutes available for questions for the Villanova student athletes, if you have one. To the right of the aisle, Joe. 
Uh, for Phil, um, you had you didn't take a three point shot at all in the first half, and uh, it seemed like you weren't looking for that shot. Was was did you see something that would enable you to drive the ball repeatedly as you did? Uh, they did a good job defensively uh, closing out, uh, not giving much airspace for uh, three point shots. So just trying to be aggressive, uh, get downhill, um, just read whatever defense was giving me. Continuing with questions for Phil or Eric, if there are any. If you have a question for the Villanova student athletes, raise your hand. We'll come back up front. Uh, Eric, I'm curious, how would you evaluate the way you guys played defense, especially in the second half? It seemed like the def defensive intensity picked up. Um, definitely, I feel like uh, we picked it up. I mean, we did a good job just playing together and knowing that uh, we're on the other side, not in front of our bench, talking a lot more. I mean, we should have talked like that in the first half. but. It's also just uh, communicating. I mean, uh, playing team defense. That's all we, uh, we really did, and uh, felt like we did a good job of that. Any final questions for Eric or Phil? There's one all the way in the back to the right. Hey, Tarika, uh, ESPN Audio. With the expectations um, coming into this tournament, given that this team or this program um, is a former champion not too long ago, how did you guys manage the expectations for your program coming into the tournament? Phil first, then Eric, then we'll wrap things up for you guys. Uh, with this team, it's a totally different team. So those expectations don't really land on this team at all. Uh, many, team, many guys from the team that are championship team aren't on there now besides uh, me and Eric. So we kind of don't talk about that or place that upon them. We kind of just try to focus on our next game and try to focus on who we're playing against. Eric? Uh, definitely. I mean, uh, it's definitely a whole new team. I mean, uh, lost a lot of guys, but I feel like there's no expectation. Just uh, our expectation is to try to play Villanova basketball the best way we can by the end of the season. We'd like to thank both Phil and Eric for joining us here in the main interview room. They're going to head back to the locker room and join their teammates for some more questions and answers. Availability with the media. The Villanova locker room should still be open for a few more minutes. Of course. Questions for Coach Wright. We'll start toward the back right of the aisle. Joe, go ahead. Uh, Jay, uh, could you talk about the tempo tonight? Uh, why was it so, why, why couldn't you like speed it up a little in the first half and did you do a better job of it in the second? Yeah, the, the tempo was excruciating. Um, the, it's, it's much, harder to slow speed up a game than it is to slow down a game and we just felt like um they're such a good passing team they're so skilled that if we tried to speed it up it was just going to give them too many open shots they're a great three-point shooting team we, we we felt going in we were just going to have to grind with them and we weren't going to be able to change the tempo we had to be disciplined enough to grind wish it didn't have to be that way but that's why they're so good to the right of the aisle ken Jay, Ken Davis of Hartford AP. Um, one of the great mysteries of this tournament seems is always the first game and how, how you're going to come out uh, after a conference tournament and three games and four games in a row. Is this kind of game good for you that you had to grind it out, you think? Is that that set you up well for the rest of the way? It, it does. I'd, I'd much rather a 20-point win. That'd be nicer. But... Um, to your point, you know, you play in Madison Square Garden, it's sold out, crazy energy when you walk on the floor and you walk out here tonight, and there's n literally no one in the building. It's bizarre. It's really bizarre. And I thought both teams deserved a lot of credit for really focusing. That game was intense and well played from the start. Um, you do worry about those things, you know. You get your 18 to 22 year old kids. You know, we got a lot of guys in NCAA tournament the first time. And they're thinking, this is the NCAA tournament. There's nobody in the stands, you know. Um, but th that's part of it. That's what comes with it. I was really proud of our guys, and, and, and I give St. Mary's a lot of credit. Coach up front, front row to the right. Hoops is in the house. It's Thank official. You. <laughs> You're getting good at this. Huh? Jay, this is the second time in three games you played against a bigger team. Uh, they they were able to throw a couple. Six tens at you at times. Uh, how much of a concern is uh, is that for you going forward? You guys finished with like five offensive rebounds. Yeah, it is. You know, we we lost a, a big guy this year, uh, Dylan Painter, that transferred, and we've got two good ones coming in next year. But we got to get through it. You know, I thought Demir Cosby Roundtree gave us, gave us great minutes inside, and um, even playing undersized, Jermaine did a good job on their bigs. 
we're just going to have it's a concern but we're just we're just going to have to figure out our way to play through it sometimes you know blitz the post sometimes front the post we, we just got to we got to figure it out each game all the way to the left side uh Hoops kind of alluded to this. You know, first half, you had zero offensive rebounds. You went to the line three times, all on the same play, I think. I think it was a three-point <laughs> shot that was fouled. Uh, so at halftime, are you saying to yourself, do we have to do more work getting inside? Or we're not going to get inside, so we have to do better with, with drive and kick and, and getting our perimeter game going. What was really on your mind at that point? The second, they, they, are, they, are a gr they are one of the best three-point defensive teams in the country, and they're one of the – I think they're um, 17th or something in, in defense, somewhere, either defense or offense, 117, 155. But they have such great length at the rim, we just said, you know what, we're not going to get to the rim. We're going to have to go mid-range and, and try to get threes. Um, even in transition, you saw Phil Booth a couple times went all the way to the rim, got a shot blocked. It was in transition. They've just got great size, great length, and they play with their hands back. Um, they're very well coached, very disciplined defensively. That same area on the left. Uh, Adam Betts, Journal Inquirer. Coach, uh, Jermaine uh, Samuels had a couple big buckets for you down the stretch, especially. How would you rate his performance in the last couple minutes of the game? He was awesome. He, he gives us the ability to play with some size, but also to be able to handle the ball and make plays um, against the press. He had a great finish. Ended a shot clock there. He went and made a play at great left-handed drive. Um, he, he's been playing great basketball for us through the – Big East tournament, you know, I would have to say he's our most improved player this season, and uh, he's having a great impact, and lucky we have him. Left of the aisle, Mark. Mark Tracy, New York Times. Uh, Coach, not, not at all. For the first time, you had at least one freshman playing, you know, very serious late minutes for you. You've done it before, but I'm wondering, is there any different thought process for you when you do that, given that, you know, unlike some of your other guys, these guys were literally playing high school basketball a year ago, and now it's the NCAA tournament. Yeah, we try not to do that. <laughs> we try not to be in that position. But if you uh, – Sadiq Bey this year um, has played so much for us and was forced into that action that by this time in the, of the year, um, he, he's, he's pretty solid and pretty confident out there. And we're confident in him. But – You've got, it's tough to put, like we've got a freshman Cole Swatter I wanted to get in there. It's just tough to find positions in real close, situations in a real close game for a guy that hasn't had a lot of minutes as a freshman for us. Last one's up front to the right, Coach. Jay, you've alluded, you've alluded to coming out to an empty stadium and, and, and you've alluded to uh, you know, having to play a little different style, slower than you wanted to. How does the experience that you do have uh, carrying over from last year manifest itself when you have to adapt to whatever the tournament throws at you? That, I think that um, teams that have NCAA tournament experience and have guys on their team, even if they don't play, uh, they have an advantage. Um, just because of things like that, there's so many unique aspects to the NCAA tournament. 95% um, of them are positive, but they're just different than all the other games you play. And um, to not be distracted by that is is really important and um and then when you don't have guys that have experience i worry about that but um phil and eric help our guys and then our sophomores didn't play a lot but they were there and i think it, it it's it's been beneficial for them we'd like to thank coach wright for joining us here in the main interview room and thanks, congratulations Mark. thanks guys St. Mary's has arrived, which means that the Gales locker room is open for availability at this time. We're going to be joined by Jordan Ford and Jordan Hunter. The rest of the Gales student athletes are available in the locker room right now.
We're joined at this time by St. Mary's head coach Randy Bennett, student athletes Jordan Ford and Jordan Hunter. We'll ask coach to open things up, then we'll take some questions for the student athletes. Coach. Yeah, it was uh, fun to be part of the tournament, fun to be part of a a good basketball game. Villanova is obviously a good team. And uh, yeah, we need we wish we would have played a little better second half, but uh, proud of our guys, proud of what they've done this year, proud of them tonight. We uh, they they kept fighting and competing, and so I was uh, yeah. You you wanted you always want the other outcome when you get the loss, but a lot to be proud of of this this group and and their leadership and their. They're just stick with itness, staying together, high character. So proud of them. We're looking for questions for student athletes Jordan Ford and Jordan Hunter at this time. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We're going to go down to the front on the right side. For both Jordans, um, in the first half, they, they came out and hit a couple threes early on. You guys were able to bounce back from that. What was a little bit different in the second half when they made their run early on? Jordan Hunter first, please. Uh, we just went got them hot enough. A lot of that's on me. Um, they're, they're good. They'll, they'll pull it from wherever. So we just got to be. We just had to put more pressure on them, and we didn't do it. Uh, yeah, we did a bad, bad job of I think taking them off the line, and that's a, a total team cover. Um, and uh, on the other end, we just didn't do a good job of responding with made shots. Uh, and most of that uh, is on me. I didn't shoot well from the field, and uh, I expect better. So. Continuing with questions for Jordan Ford and Jordan Hunter. If you have one, raise your hand. Did you have one? Right side toward the front. Uh, it's for Jordan Ford, Zach Carpenter, San Jose, Mercury News. I'm over here. Um, 13 points on 17 shots, one for seven from the from three point. What was it about Villanova's defense? Was it their length or something? What was it that just kind of kept you bottled up a little bit? Uh, yeah, I had I had a few good looks uh, that you know I know I can make, um, but they're a really long team, uh, which could have probably affected me a little bit. But uh, a lot of those shots are shots I know I can make, so um, I just gotta. Going forward, just keep getting in the gym and uh, get better. Continuing with questions for Jordan Ford and Jordan Hunter. If you have one, raise your hand. Any further questions for Jordan or Jordan? There's one in the center of the room. Pat Eaton, Rob from the Associated Press. Jordan, they, they led for, I think, 33 minutes or something in the game, but never by more than eight points. So when you guys cut it to four down at the end, did you think that, that, that you had a, had a shot there? And, and, and then can you describe what, what happened down the stretch? Uh, yeah, I definitely think we had a shot. Um, we cut it to four with, I don't know, 30 seconds left. And uh, we've had a few games this year where uh, we put the press on and we were able to get back into the game. And, uh, you know, if we get a few of those loose balls, I think it's uh, – or maybe make a three uh, when we're up – we're down four. Uh, I think it's a different game, so. Any further questions for Jordan Hunter or Jordan Ford? Jordan and Jordan, we want to thank you guys for coming down to the main interview room. They're going to head back and join their teammates in the St. Mary's locker room, which should still be open for a few more minutes. Thanks, guys. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Questions now for Coach Bennett. If you have one, please raise your hand. We'll send the microphone attendant in your direction. First question for Coach Bennett. Up front, to the right. We're going to use that left-hand microphone. Coach, how big a factor do you think it was at Villanova's experience down the stretch in this game? I mean, obviously, Booth and Pascal have played in big games for them, and I mean, your guys, a lot of these guys have not been in the tournament before. Yeah, I, they've been a lot of tight games all year. Uh, the, you know, we've watched the last six, seven games, and it seems like every one of them but one was – down to the wire and they, so they're used to playing that and what you mentioned is definitely an advantage is they played six games in the NCAA tournament I think both those guys played two national championship teams so they and Gillespie was there last year they've had just knowing what the tournament's like knowing what it feels like to play in a one and done pressure situation it's uh our guys moving forward will have that no we didn't play in six games but in the tournament, but we played in one. We have everybody back but one guy. So I just know the teams we've had that are like that. When we had Delvadova and those guys, it, it felt like a huge advantage when it came tournament time that you guys knew what was coming. 
And uh, I thought our guys did a good job of, of playing it. Uh, we didn't play tight. We kept playing. We didn't play great, but we, I thought we played pretty right. We needed to, yeah, I answered the question, went on. But anyhow, it's an advantage. They did a good job, and they're hard to beat in close games. Continuing with questions for Coach Bennett on the right side. Uh, Coach Zach Carpenter again, San Jose Mercury News. Um, Coach Wright said that he kind of just hates playing against the grinded out style that you guys have. Um, one of the f one of the slowest paces in the country. What sort of advantage do you think that gives you against a team with the athleticism and the length of Villanova? Uh, they're kind of grindy too. Like that's how they play. So they they'll if they get up on you like six or eight, they're just gonna use the clock and then go to an on ball at the end of the clock. So. I knew it was going to be that game just because they play that and we'll play that. We we play that defensively. Um, w w it's not easy for us to score, and we battled that all year. And when you play against good teams like Villanova and some of the teams in our league, obviously Gonzaga, and, but there's other San Francisco, San Diego, those guys, it, they're not going to give you easy shots. You got to work for them. So, I think that's just what happens unless you can just outman people and just turn it into transition and go beat them on the boards badly. You're going to have to work to get good shots against Villanova. They're going to switch everything. They're going to make it grindy. Um, so it's not – people keep asking, if, is that – it's not really like the game plan. The game plan is to, to score as soon as we can score, but you got to take good shots to do it. And we – you know, a pretty young team. We don't have a ton of scores yet. I think we'll have those more next year. But we just had to we just had to compete and uh, compete for every shot. And then we had to compete defensively to keep people from getting easy shots. And I think that's how it gets to the end of the year. So it wasn't a uh, – I'm glad we're hard for them to play against. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to score it a little easier next year. That's kind of how the, the game unfolded. Continuing with questions for Coach Bennett, if there are any. Any final questions for Coach? Coach Bennett, we want to thank you for coming to the main interview room. Coach will head back toward the locker room with his team. Thanks, thank Coach. you. Yep.